You're called into the ER for a 55 year old male who presents with severe abdominal pain and an abdominal mass, which is pulsatile. So quickly you are thinking about a ruptured triple A. So in this case, the management steps would be that you would quickly go see the patient, let the nurse know that they should establish an IV access, type and cross him because he may require massive transfusion protocol for blood products. Once you're examining the patient, you can confirm the diagnosis most likely that there is a pulsatile mass and because the patient is most likely an extremist, there is a ruptured AAA. You can quickly do a bedside ultrasound to confirm your diagnosis. You should not do a CTA in this situation as most likely the patient given in your scenario would be hypotensive and tachycardic. Once in the operating room, you uh, prep them um, broadly from neck all the way to mid thigh. Do not intubate them prior uh, because they can become hypotensive more and lose their uh, sympathetic tone. So they basically intubate the patient when they're all prepped and you're about to make the incision, then you should intubate this patient. In the operating room for a ruptured AAA, you enter the abdomen via generous midline laparotomy and the goals of the operation are proximal and distal control, opening the aorta via longitudinal arteriotomy, you remove the clot, and then you sew in the graft. Now the proximal control is via the supraciliac aorta. You enter the supraciliac aorta by taking down the gastrohepatic ligament, identifying the esophagus, you separate it from the right and the left crews, you'll see the aorta, then you free the structures around the aorta, and you can get a clamp there. Now this is the proximal control. The distal control would be at the level of the bilateral iliacs. Now once you have the proximal and distal control, you can basically uh, do the repair. Now before you do the repair, it is important that now you place an additional proximal control clamp just below the renal's uh, takeoff. What it does is that you have now a clamp for proximal control just below the take of the renal arteries and you can take off the supraciliac clamp. So by this way you are at least getting blood flow to the other structures and the kidneys and then you can continue with the operation.